we are a Premier League team for another year at least, but now comes the time to strengthen the squad. We know we need a keeper, and that's definitely where the priority is going to be. Before we get into the transfers though, we are going to start off with the season review. A chance for me to reward myself for all the good work I've done throughout the year. And I suppose reward the squad as well. If we do have a look at the new rivals, the star sign of the season was Suzuki. And realistically, I can't argue with that. I know we do need another keeper to come in and be a bit of a better option than him. He's not that much better than Balkan, but the form that he has showed since he came into the club, it's hard to deny. He probably has been the most important signing that we did make this season. Javi Araujo, despite getting the next best rate, and I didn't really think he had too much of an impact. He's probably going to be one of the players we look to sell on this summer. Javanini, on the other hand, I feel he has come in. Nine goals, six assists. He has really been a good element in keeping us up this year. And the youngster, Salim Gerard as well, obviously getting on the wonder kids this, this year, along with Chiriak. So we've definitely got reason to be happy about the squad that we've assembled. We've got lots of young players who can only improve. So I think next year, with the bit of Premier League experience these players have got, it will be a much, much better performance from us. And hopefully we can see ourselves in mid-table, maybe creep into the top half. I definitely would like a cup run next year. And I think a lot of these players will play a big part in it. Harrison Ashby, I feel, is the only one who we are definitely going to be getting rid of down the bottom here. Jordan Ross hasn't really performed great since he's come to the club, but he has been learning a new position. And I feel, again, like with a lot of these players, next season will be a real breakout season for a lot of them. See, the board happy with the results. It was this run in the mid-season which really kept us up. And if we can get a... A couple of runs like that next season, then it should be a much better season for us. But some unexpected results along the way, beating Manchester United try twice. I think we were unbeaten against Chelsea as well. Obviously drawn with Manchester City later on in the season. So we have a lot of results which we can look back on and be proud of ourselves. But we know there's definitely so much we need to improve on. Say at least three, for example, Brighton, Middlesbrough and Forest, especially the Forest game, we got absolutely pummeled in that match. So definitely areas for us to be improving and we arrived at the perfect time of day but the transfer window is moments away from coming up obviously a lot of money coming into the club this season we just look at the broadcast revenue there 86 million compared with 2.85 million last year so so much more money being pumped into the club and it really really does fill us with glee that we are getting that and it gives us an opportunity to improve the squad once more yeah, probably close to the first team that you would expect to go out, maybe Dilly ahead of Gerard. but we did say in the last episode, Gerard has been a bit more of an effective striker than Dilly this season. We did break the transfer record again this year, £8 million for Furukawa, but I imagine that could be something that is broken during this transfer window, especially if we want to improve the squad in a meaningful way. We probably are going to have to spend a bit more money than what we have been so far. One thing I did want to view is the club vision and expectations meeting. Last couple of seasons, the board have extended the stadium. I'm not sure if there is any capacity to extend it by anymore, but if there is, I'm sure they will be looking at that now. We're selling out every single game, 16,000 people coming through the ground. So would definitely be a decent option for us to extend the squad. And looking at the season review, there is another thing to expand the stadium in there. So I think we could be going up again. So very, very exciting time to be a Stockport fan. More expansion to the stadium. At this point, wonder why they're not just thinking of building a brand new stadium. Like we say, if we just look at the attendances for our home games, 16,186 coming into Edgley Park every single game. So we know that it is a popular destination for the home fans now. So yeah, we just want the 
want them to keep on extending and if we can get a new stadium at some point in time that would be nice one thing I did forget to do whilst I was looking at that was to see what the board expectation was I'm going to say we're good enough to avoid relegation but yeah we'll drop that down a bit and just say we want to work as hard as possible to avoid the drop not going to tempt fate with anything else we'll let them go back on holiday and they can enjoy the little break that they're going to get throughout the season they'll be back in a few weeks hopefully they'll be joined by some new faces at that point as well and not just expanding the stadium that are looking for a new stadium now this is very exciting for us as well so hopefully we'll be getting some news on that soon it will take a while for it to get done obviously but like we say a very very exciting time to be a stockport fan and they're going to improve the youth level as well the oh this is a fantastic board and with the investment that they are putting into the club then yeah it's possible that this could be a, a long term career at Stockport and we haven't advanced far since I said it could be a long term career at Stockport but recently Man U and Tottenham have both sacked the managers and I am apparently wanted by both clubs I'm not going to apply for either job I'll see if they come and approach me at which point I will go and talk to them just to see what they're, what they're saying but it'll, it'll be tough if that does happen transfer window is open and I think for the first time in a few years we don't actually have any people coming in on the opening day we are being linked with a few in the press though the opening one being Lee Smith who doesn't look to be a terrible signing by any means probably would be a backup ball bin midfielder but still looks like he could be decent and for the price that it looks like we could get him for it might just be worth trying to snap him up say we could bring him in and then look to maybe move on Tom Brooks who I don't think has made the step up to the Premier League maybe a season out on loan would be good for him but I kind of feel like we might need to cut our losses with this guy and see if we can move him on over the course of this transfer window there is a few players on the transfer list already we've put Tommy Reid on there Harrison Ashby Araujo and we've just asked Gregor Dempster's agent about any interest in him and apparently we're going to be getting some 12 million pound offers come in shortly for him not sure if he does want to move but if we do get those offers they will be accepted he has been kicking up a little bit of a fuss in the second half of the season and I think we do have the players in the squad already or coming back from loan to be able to cover for him so we'll look to move him on we are also trying to get rid of Paul Downing we picked him up on a free transfer a couple of years ago hasn't really broke into our first team or set the world alight in his most recent loan spell so if we can try and move him on this transfer window and get some money in for him think that's the best option that we are going to have there so hopefully we can get a few of these players out of the club may have identified a couple of keepers which could come in Jan Muller is the first one he's a 19 year old Czech goalkeeper currently playing for Napoli in Italy definitely is an improvement on Suzuki but I would say one sub appearance in Serie A really really not a good appearance for him at all but I expect with regular appearances he would be better but I think the more appealing option at the moment is going to be Spike Britt he's been on loan in the championship with Southampton got promoted with them this season and yeah I think as a little bit of an upgrade on Suzuki this guy could be a really good option for us takes a lot of boxes and is young enough to only improve as well so if we can get him for somewhat of that value and he does want to come to us then we maybe have got the keeper but he really isn't interested in joining us at the moment i will wait until the season ticks over properly and then we'll see if we can go back in for an offer and we've got a couple of offers for dempster there 12.25 million so they'll both be accepted 
if we get lows that'll take us up to 47 million in the transfer budget and we are selling short hire as well i think that's going to be nine million pound coming in so we're going to be operating on around 56 million pound i think it is to be able to spend so we've got a lot of money coming into the club so hopefully we'll be able to find some worthwhile signings out there one player which is underway is matthew raz definitely going to be called Matthew from now on though but he's a South African youngster striker he's got 17 finishing already and looks to be a very very good advanced forward needs to work on his dribbling first touch but feel he has very good attributes for that position and can only improve as well so if we get this one over the line nice and early I feel he would be a very very good star for the future for us do need to appeal for the work permit and we'll see if we can complete that one early Matthew has got his work permit and as such becomes the first player to sign for us in this transfer window. He is going to be available for the under 21s and we are going to send him on a intensive language course as well just to make sure he picks up the languages as quickly as possible. But great to have a sign over the line like we say, one for the future but could maybe come in and have a little bit of an impact if we need him to. We're going to offer Isaac out for transfer as well definitely want to move him on this summer he's definitely not up to being a premier league player i don't think so if we can get him moved out of the club as well free up some wages and just get a little bit more money into the bank then that would be great no real interest for any of these players at the moment so we are just going to keep on persevering offering them out we won't keep on coming back looking at them. I think I'm going to offer out Balcom as well. Because like we saw, he had a very, very poor end to the season. And definitely think we need a refresh in that goalkeeping area of the pitch. Dempster rejected both of the contracts which came in for him. So we are going to offer him out again for £12 million to see if anyone does come in. Elsewhere in the squad, we've accepted bids now for Balcom, Ashby and Araujo, so hopefully we'll be seeing them move on. I think it'll be £9 million overall for all of those players coming in. So, not the greatest of money, but moving them on, getting money on the wages, and it will give us a little bit more room for manoeuvrability. Trying to move on Isaac as well, but so far, no interest in him. Still waiting for the season to tick over. Few of the other players we've got on our shortlist are attracting attention from some big teams. So we are probably going to be missing out on a lot of our first choices for a lot of roles. But you never know. We could end up getting some good players in. And I really am considering making a bid for Marcelo Silva Santos. But it would be a lot of money and he wouldn't be able to join us until January. So... I'm hesitating with that one a little bit and just saying if we can get any other business done like we were saying before Lee Smith from Arsenal looks a very similar player obviously Marcelo would be better has much room much more room to improve but as an option yeah Lee Smith would be a decent squad player at the very least for us had another offer of £12 million for Dempster that one's being accepted and hopefully the contract on offer will be more acceptable to him this one's in Spain, so I think he's got more chance of being able to go to Spain than he was go to go to Brazil. So hopefully that one will get over the line. We are offering Tom Brooks out for a permanent transfer. I just feel it hasn't really worked out for him. So we can try and improve in that deep line midfielder role as well. Obviously, we've got Catalones to compete with Patino, but if we can bring in a another youngster just to add a little bit of depth into that position that would be great obviously we've got Monome who can play the ball win midfield role alongside ball there as well so hopefully them two will be able to keep on managing that position we've got Patino and Owens and if we can get one more who's sort of a jack of all trades then definitely wouldn't go amiss Harrison Aspie finally signed for Hearts so he is out of the club now and definitely think we've upgraded having Barley in that position to compete with Smith so I think in defence we're definitely 
going in the right direction obviously we need to keep it in behind them if a row hole goes there i feel we do have the players there we've got actor check coming back reese welsh is coming back as well he'll probably be moved on this summer and like we were saying jowl quanta is one of the ones who's probably in danger of maybe losing his place in the team he's one of the oldest players there still only 26 obviously still has a lot of time on his side but with the value that we could command for him it is something i am considering seeing if we can get any interest in him at all so we have had a little reputation boost so hopefully that'll help us get the likes of spike grit over the line like it was the reputation that was the issue for them so maybe that'll help push them closer to stockport's door we are trying to bring in some new staff as well we are going to request to add some coaches but i think at this point it is time to wave goodbye to elliot dickman he's been with us since our south shields days but i think we are going to be improving the coaching this summer 30 i think is a little bit of an upgrade on him and yeah is the cheapest one to replace at the moment so like we say we'll move on some of these coaches a lot of these will be moved on this summer and we'll have a fresh coaching set up as well Araujo has agreed his deal to go to Rotherham as well so that's another 3.2 million added on to the transfer kitty and yeah definitely making more outward moves than incomings this summer I think and the season is just ticking over now as well so I think once this has happened we are going to go and make that bid for Spike Brits but we'll go ahead and do what we did last year just boost these two as high as we can that'll get the wages and the transfer budget up just a little bit so it'll definitely make us more competitive and like we did a few points during the save we are just going to accept what the board want as well I think that will help them you know just be a bit nicer to me if we're nice to them as well so here we are making an offer for spike he is still on loan at southampton so not sure if this could actually go through at the moment or if he'd even be willing to speak to us while he is still on loan but i think that is acceptable five million up front one million after 50 games definitely seems like a good deal so we'll go ahead offer that and we're going to be left disappointed ah uh, well we need a hunt for a keeper again so we are creating a recruitment focus just to make sure the staff are out looking for those keepers definitely want to make sure that we can get those over the line because it's definitely the weakest area in the pitch at the moment we'll accept the offer from norwich for Dempster as well not as much up front but we could potentially make more money in the future so realistically just one Dempster out of the club he has been kicking up a bit of a fuss and same with Isaac although he's not kicking up a fuss we just want him to be out of the door and just if we can get a bit of money in we've outgrown Isaac a bit is a very very good player for lower down in the league ladder but unfortunately not for us. Downing, yeah, he's the one I think we're going to struggle the most, but can just throw him down in the under-21s this season or loan him out for the year if needs be. No real interest in Tom Brooks, although there is minor interest from West Ham. So maybe we could look to do something with West Ham if they have any players that we want to bring along as well I'd say Dane Henderson would have been a good option to have as a keeper but I don't really want to be paying the 30 odd million which Brentford are willing to pay for him so I think that one's probably a little bit of a no go and doesn't really look to be anyone else in the squad that's too appealing so if they want Brooks they're going to have to come and make the offer themselves there is quite a lot of interest for loan deals though so I might actually tell you what we are going to remove him from the transfer list he does have a couple of years left on his deal but instead we are going to offer him out on 
a loan basis instead. Just want him to go out this year, try to get back into a little bit of form, similar with what we've done with Wiseman this year. And then come next summer, we'll evaluate his future. Or maybe in the January transfer window, we'll see what's happening. But yeah, definitely feel Brooks needs a lot more game time than what we can offer him. So that's why we need to get him out on loan or yeah, move him on if if needs be. But he does just need a lot of regular football. And West Ham have actually come in with a permanent offer, three million in up front, three million in installments, seven hundred and fifty after league appearances, which probably isn't gonna get that. And then per league appearance you get sixty five grand. But we get fifty percent of any profit from next sale. And I think Given the fact we are selling them for quite cheap, there will be a little bit of profit that you will get. And I'll tell you what, we will actually accept that loan back as well. If he wants to stick around our squad for a year, just compete in that deep line playmaker role without us paying any wages, yeah, we'll definitely accept that one. Balcom is off to Leeds for £4.8 million. Did a monumental job getting us up to the Premiership, but almost did a similar monumental job in taking us back down. So, is going to be a bit of a miss. Obviously, we do have fond memories of him, but I think they've been eclipsed by how poor he was during his Premier League debut campaign. So, yeah, Leeds can enjoy him and hopefully he'll do his best to drag them down next year. And the search for players continues. There was lots of staff contracts, which I just completely forgot to do anything about. So we've just had to go through a load of them. That was very time consuming and fun. But on to bigger news now, Gregor Dempster has agreed to join Norwich. I think this is probably going to be our record sale so far. 10.25 being added to the transfer budget straight away. Overall, it could be 12.5 million plus a little bit of profit as well. So I think that is a very, very good deal for us. Obviously, he came in, the scouts and coaches didn't really rate him all that highly, but I thought he always had a little bit about him. And in the end, we have ended up getting a really, really good deal for the club. So we'll wish him luck for the rest of his career, but definitely feel we've made the best choice in moving him along now. Confirmation of short tyres deal going through nine and a half million up front, and we also get 20% of the next sale price. So, I think another really good deal for us obviously it puts us up to 65 million pound in the transfer budget now. So, yeah, it's a lot of money for us to go out and play with. But, like we're saying, like there's not too many positions in the squad that I feel we need to improve too much obviously the goalkeeping department major improvements needed there but elsewhere i think we've got a relatively decent squad do we think edison would want to come in for a year i mean in, in milan have already bid on him so i think that one's out the window already decore has been playing for man city for a while obviously at a palace before that might say if he's interested in a trial move and I think he could be a really good option to have in that ball win midfield role if he does want to come in and if we can get him on a free transfer then all the better and then I think Lewis Hall as well just as a versatile player who can play in a few places yeah it's another decent option so we'll offer him a trial as well and just see if maybe some of these players do want to come in for us it didn't go in the order i expected we have got lewis hall and jack Grealish has actually agreed to join on trial as well the curate has snubbed us but we'll add him to the shortlist maybe further down the line in the summer he might be a bit interested if there's been no interest in him lewis hall i think the most realistic of them is a player who can play in quite a few positions so just as a versatile player would be very good for us and Jack Raelish although he definitely is a little bit past it in terms of his pace and things like that just imagine having Jack Raelish at the club it's a it's an interesting option for us we'll uh, 
we'll definitely keep it under consideration for now. We've had lots and lots of players return from loans, so we're definitely going to try to get rid of as quite a few of these. I think Wiseman probably will be sticking about, Foy will be sticking about as well, but yeah, probably the rest of them we will be looking to move on if possible. So it's going to be a busy, busy transfer window in terms of outgoings from Stockport. The likes of Paul Gaynor, Adramola, John Martin have all spent time out on loan this season and I really don't think they're capable of breaking into the squad. Oscar Bob is back, but he is going to be sent straight back out. We're going to try to sell him if we can't. We'll see if we can get into the loan deal for him. Sylvester Jasper as well is another one. So we have lots of players here who we no longer need and definitely going to be getting busy trying to get these out of the club. So far the scouts do appear to be struggling to find a keeper. The best one they've found so far is Alessandro Plitzari. Currently playing for Parma, but he does look like he's a really good keeper. We definitely can afford him. Haven't asked his agent about the availability yet, so not sure if he would want to join. But on the face of it, would be a very, very good player. We'll scout him officially just to see what they come back with. He is on the shortlist, so we'll know if anyone else does come in for him. But yeah, through the scouting update, no keepers are coming through until we scroll quite far down. And yeah, that's James Trafford, and he doesn't really inspire confidence. So yeah, a lot of work still to be done in the goalkeeping department. Looks like it's going to be quite the struggle. So in the end, Brooks has rejected a move to West Ham, but he is instead going out on loan to Birmingham for the season. Should be getting a decent amount of football at championship level, so hopefully he will be able to develop and come back into our squad next year all the stronger for it. Quite glad he hasn't actually moved to West Ham. Obviously, looks to be a player that has fairly decent potential. He is going to struggle to get into our team, but hopefully this little year out at Birmingham will help him just grow that little bit as a footballer and we have got Giovanini coming asking for a new contract wouldn't really be unhappy about giving him one but if we can we'll try to persuade him not to get one but we're going after off from one like we say is it quite an important player for us we'll see what the demands are and he's definitely asking for quite a big pay rise but like we say he had a big impact on the squad last year he's going to be a regular starter for us and we just want to get this down to a decent level what about 36 we start off at 33 going up to 36 i think he's really going to push for this 44 but we've agreed on 38 doubling his wages but was a very very important player for us so not unhappy about doing that at all I imagine there's going to be a few players who will come and ask for a similar upgrade to the contract we'll do it for some of them but for others it's not going to be an option we've had a couple of loan offers for Downing as long as we get some of the wages paid for he's not really on big wages so it's a little splash in the ocean but he just needs to be out of the club for the year so hopefully he'll go get a little bit game time and then secure himself a good little future we have offered morris out for transfer as well 11 million pound at the moment we haven't had any bids but i feel with last go at the club we've got jack roberts who's just come back from loan as well so i want to give him a little bit of game time and i think i am going to be offering a contract to lewis hall so he would add additional cover in that left back department so that's the reason behind offering Morris out and if we can get him over the line then it would be a good deal for us he is wanting quite a large wage oh my goodness 71,000 he's wanting a lot of an appearance fee as well he's trying to he's really trying to rinse the club with this contract here so i think we're just going to walk away from this one for now 
may risk losing out on him, but I don't want to pay that ridiculous wage demand if he does want to stay at the club. So we're not going to be going ahead with that for now. Just going to be, like we were saying before, trying to offload some of these players and see if we can get any business done. It is proving more difficult than I anticipated. We have advanced quite a bit and been a lot of action on the out since you were last here. John Martin, Paul Gaynor, Paul Downing, Tommy Reid, Oscar Bob and Sylvester Jasper have all left the club. Victor Luque has also left. We haven't really been introduced to him. We, we signed him on deadline day in last September's transfer window, I think it was. Had two loan spells out of the club last year. He's heading out on another loan spell this year just to see if he can develop. But all in all, we've sold £41.5 million worth of players so far. We have also got another transfer ongoing for James Morris, £10 million potentially coming into the club. So, got a nice healthy transfer budget, nice healthy bank balance as well. So it's all looking very positive for us. We're trying to fund that stadium ourselves, it seems. And we're doing our very best to make sure we have enough money to cover whatever we need for that stadium. It is still proven to be very, very difficult to find a keeper though. I think Plitzari is just out of our out of our budget. I think he wants around about a hundred thousand pounds a week in wages, so I don't think that one will be happening. Spike Brit doesn't want to come I think he's just been given a new contract by City as well so we'll wave goodbye to these two from the shortlist because unrealistic options for us now Gavin Bazunu is an option for us though and I think realistically probably one of the best options we are going to come across during this transfer window does have some Premier League experience throughout his history not much of it but has played a few seasons here and there. Had a loan in Serie A last year. Not the best of performances, but I think for us, he is a player who would be good competition in that area and we can get him for a relatively modest transfer fee as well. So, just to get another keeper into the club and to make sure we offer good competition to Suzuki, I think we will go for this one. We'll see what we need to pay and hopefully it can be one that we get over the line. Five million up front I think is a very, very fair deal. And wages shouldn't be an issue. I think the most he wants is around about thirty five thousand pounds, so should be relatively comfortable at getting a contract over the line. It's twenty nine and a half thousand pounds, six thousand pound a week. Yeah, this is yeah. Very reasonable five year contract. I think we're going to be welcoming Gavin and Bazunu to the club any time now. And then, yeah, I think we've got a relatively decent squad there. We'd still like to get Lewis Hall in if he wants to have sensible contract demands. Like we say, we're still trying to get rid of a couple of players. Adramola and Isaac still around the club. Might see if Matthew wants a little loan out. But... We'll see what happens during the rest of the window. My keep them around. See what the squad ends up like once we've got rid of the players that we are trying to get rid of. And then, yeah, like we say, I think another defensive midfield player could be in the mix as well. Bazunu is a Stockport player. I'm not going to lie, it's definitely a very underwhelming signing for us to get, but... I think it was the best keeper who was going to come up for us during this transfer window. It'd been the main area that we had been looking for and there was only two or three keepers that popped up through the whole thing. He definitely represents the best value for money option out of all of them. So he's coming in. We've got three keepers there who can compete for that goalkeeping position now. And hopefully Bazuki... Uh, Bazunu and Suzuki can battle that out for the first choice. Daniel Byrne will probably get a few cut appearances this year. I don't want to loan him out because I think this is the year that he could potentially break into the first team with the other options that we do have there. And we will 
in fact just see if Lewis Hall wants to be more reasonable about his transfer demands at this time. It, 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 he, is, he is getting there. I mean, it's it's slightly better to the point where I'm willing to negotiate a little bit more now. But yeah, he needs to he needs to check himself a little bit. He's uh, not the player he thinks he is, and we definitely can't go on, be going around giving out this much money. So we'll play a little bit of hardball with him, but. Is definitely a player I am interested in getting over the line, especially if we are getting rid of Morris as well. It's 50,000 a week, 25 if he plays, but yeah, I feel, I feel we've got the money to do it. Like I say, he would be a very, very important squad player for us if he did come into the club, so I just want to get that one over the line. Adramola is the only player now who we want to get rid of, who we don't have any bids in for. So we'll try to get that one over and done with as well. And then we're just waiting for the next scout report to come into the club. And then we'll have a look to see what deep lying midfield players there are in there. I think in attacking midfield and striking department, we've got plenty of options in all of those areas. Defensively, I think we've got plenty of options to cover. And here we go. We're going to be getting a few recommendations throughout this, hopefully. Yeah, so there wasn't really much great that came from that meeting. We have decided to press ahead with an offer for Lee Smith. It's only going to be 750000 We will look to loan him out this season as well, just to get him a bit of experience. But he does look to be a player, like we're saying, who could develop nicely. So loan him out for the first bit of the season. If he does well, maybe could bring him back into the squad. If Lewis Hall does end up signing as well, that leaves us with probably just another defensive midfield a sign then the squad is probably complete and we are scouting a youngster from Birmingham who could potentially fulfil that criteria Morris has completed his move he's off to Spain £10 million 9.5 million of that being added to the transfer budget for us so definitely a transfer window in which we have just made a lot of money for Stockport County but I think it's one that's going to set us up very nicely the squad that we have, I think, is very good. We're getting a couple of extra players in just to give us a bit of strength in depth as well. But hopefully, once they come in, then, yeah, we are going to be ready just to compete a little bit more. Lewis Hall has completed his transfer. Like we say, just a very, very well-rounded player. Very versatile, can play in a few positions for us. So it just gives us a good bit of cover in the squad. He will be joined by Lee Smith as well. I think we are going to look to loan Lee Smith out as we are currently negotiating with another ball winning midfielder. That man is Peter Arnott. He's the 18 year old ball winning midfielder we mentioned from Birmingham City earlier on. Obviously probably will take a little bit of time to adapt to the first team. It is going to be £21 million as well so will be the biggest transfer which we have made so far. But we feel that he will be a very, very good player for us. We'll definitely get a lot of game time and hopefully he'll develop nicely as well. We are also looking to bring in another keeper, Barnabas Bartos, just to play as a bit of cover for Suzuki and Bizzuno. Daniel Byrne played a big part in getting Barnsley promoted last year and they've come in with another off offer to make him the first choice during the championship season this year. So, felt it would actually be good for him to go out on loan again. So he's doing that. Bartos can be back up. And then, I think, if we get those players in, the squad will be complete, or at least in a good position to go into the first game of the season. And that day of Peter Arnett has gone through, so he is now a Stockport player. Like we say, probably will take him a little bit of time to get up to speed with what we want him to do we are going to be training him in that ball win midfielder role which he definitely is very very well suited to so I do expect him to be getting a lot of game time this season and hopefully he'll fit in well with the good young squad that we have assembled here it's another record transfer but this time I think it will take a little bit longer to break that we did splash out a little bit simply because 
we had a lot of money to splash out with we still have 63 million pound in the transfer budget but we are going to have to do a little bit of adjusting just to get the wage budget back to where it needs to be 58 million though and yeah we really have done so much to improve stockport as a whole in this transfer window not only have we made some key improvements to the squad but i think we've just improved everything with the infrastructure we'll obviously see if the playing squad has been improved enough we do still have a bit of time to improve it further a lot of the improvements have come through loan players return and just having really good seasons out on loan so we're hopefully going to see if they have developed enough to improve the first team confirmation there burn is going to go out on loan a full season in the championship for him should be remarkable for his development and yeah i think we're just very very nicely set up as a squad now just need to wait for bartos to come in and then i think we can end that transfer special there and wait until the premier league does kick off we are getting some offers coming in for foy but not interested in selling them he, like I was saying, he is going to play a part in our first team this season. So, yeah, no interest whatsoever in letting him go out of the squad. A few good offers for Smith there, so he could be going to the Eric Vizier. Same as Foy, so hopefully he can have a similar impact in the Eric Vizier like Foy did last year, and then come back ready to challenge our first team next year. And that is the move for Bartos completed as well. And like I say, I think that rounds off the squad in a very nice way now. Once Smith and Adam Ola complete their transfers out of the club, we'll have a squad of 27 players. So I think we are very, very nicely set up. Two players in every position, plus a couple of players who are versatile and can cover a few different positions. So looking ahead to the season, we are in a very, very good place to go ahead. We've got Leeds, first game of the season at home. So it represents a good opportunity for us to get off the mark nice and early and get ourselves off to a good little start in the Premier League. We won't be making any changes to the squad between now and then. If there is any changes, it'll be minor players, probably under 21s, going out on loan or just moving out of the squad. So like we say, don't anticipate too much happening in way of squad news in between now and the Leeds game so we will end the transfer special there but ready to really make our mark on the Premier League but as well really start to improve our infrastructure at Stockport as well as always if you have enjoyed that please do remember to drop a like and a comment down below remember to subscribe to the channel for regular football manager content thank you very much for watching bye bye